I'm Ruth Floyd, and this is Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, and today is our fall festival, our barbecue festival. Uh, Mount Pleasant was originally a farm town in the early 1800s, and in 1898, phosphate was discovered here. So our town just boomed. And at first, it was dug by hand and later by uh, drag line. And it was at boom from a small town to so many people that they had no place for them to live. So at one time, they built a tent city down off of uh, Merchant Street down there. And uh, it got so full that the people would just stay wherever they could. Some of the men that worked in the phosphate mines would sleep wherever they were mining. And some of them would sleep in the plants. We had so many plants here at one time and then uh, lots of them closed and lots of them were sold and they were lots of them were incorporated into one plant so small plants and then in the eight, uh, 1998 after 100 years of phosphate mining here all the plants were closed because they said that the Phosphate was going into the uh, streams and causing al algae. And of course, when all of the plants closed, our town became a small town again. Uh, I have lived here for 84 years, raised five children here. Our schools were wonderful. Mount Pleasant was a wonderful town to raise children. They could go and do, and you didn't have to worry about where they were because they were close at all times. We had two wonderful schools, well three really. We had two, an uh, elementary school, a high school, and a, a colored school. And they were all wonderful schools. Um, What kind of industry do you have now? Well, now we have uh, Zytec, which is a chemical company out here. It used to be Stauffer Phosphate Company, or Victor. It was first Victor and then Stauffer. And now it's uh, it was Zytec and it's just been sold. So it's, it's a chemical company. And... Um, the others are all out going toward Columbia, and there's, uh, you know, different kinds of plants out there. Uh, we just have a new tile company coming in here, and it's up on the Columbia Highway, and it's uh, an Italian uh, from Italy. They built this huge plant out there. And so it will be employing more people than, but it's, Mount Pleasant's still a wonderful place to live. And um, all of my children still live here. And um, we have, still have two good schools here. Three now with, we have a elementary school, a middle school, and a high school but it's all integrated now, so they all, but, um, <laughs> close to about 4,000, I guess, somewhere along there. And of course, a lot of men, uh-huh. The smelter out here, how long it been? The smoke, uh, the aluminum smelter. Oh, it's been here for several years, smelter service. We have a smelter service. It's a, an aluminum company, and we have um, 
uh, a southeastern shirt, which is makes policemen shirts and things. And we have a wonderful airport out here. They've just enlarged it. And it's across the highway from all the new plants out here on Columbia Highway. And of course we have the bypass, which is great because if we didn't have a bypass today, you couldn't get through Mount Pleasant and never depart anyway. All right, anyway. we're here at downtown and, Mount Pleasant, uh, Tennessee for the KCS uh, barbecue competition, professional barbecue competition. My name's Wilson. I'm the store leader here at the Mount Pleasant Grill, uh, kind of the host of the competition, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, we're actually competing in it this year. Uh, be my first time competing in the competition. Heard all the stories about it. Um, we're, we're honored to get a get a shot at competing and hopefully we can do pretty good. Uh, Mount Pleasant Grill here um, is kind of the centerpiece uh, of Mount Pleasant. A um, lot of history in the building. It was built uh, back in 1909 during the phosphate boom. Um, burnt down in 1910 and then was immediately rebuilt. It's been everything from a Tennessee National Bank to a Grand Ole Opry House to a drugstore, um, several different things under one roof. Normally, the Mount Pleasant Grill, it's been the Mount Pleasant Grill for about nine years now. Um, uh, Mount Pleasant Grill is, is more than just a restaurant. Um, it's, it's the centerpiece of the town, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of business deals. and We are a uh, Americana uh, concept. We serve uh, southern style American food. Uh, burgers, pulled pork, barbecue brisket, uh, smoked salmon, ribeyes. Uh, if it's a southern style dish, you can get it here. I started out, I don't have any formal training, didn't go to culinary school, started out in the restaurant industry. Uh, over 20 years ago washing dishes uh, as a teenager uh, studying and learned and worked worked under some great chefs and some great general managers uh, and, and worked my way up um, I was a chef at I was executive chef at Puckett's for a little while uh, Mount Pleasant uh, was attractive to me uh, just because of the, the rich history that's here um, and uh, just the potential uh, that this town has. Uh, we're working hard to make Mount Pleasant Grill uh, one of the best restaurants, the best eateries around in Murray County. Uh, you come out and see us and try us out, you won't be disappointed. I'm Tim Tisher and I'm one of the judges here in Mount Pleasant. We just got through sampling the ribs. We had nine different entries in the backyard contest. Uh, all of them were outstanding. Uh, a lot of different variety in the sauces and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Andre Bullock. Uh, here at Mount Pleasant uh, Backyard Cook-Off. Uh, just got through judging the rib and just every one of them had a different flavor and they all were delicious. My name is Bobby Bain. Uh, we're here in Mount Pleasant at the Backyard uh, Cook-Off. Um, just got finished eating uh, or sampling nine uh, samples of ribs. Um, was a judge last year. They were excellent last year and again this year as well. Enjoyed it very much. My name is Kendall Colvett and I'm the 2016 Miss Barbecue Festival. Um, I'm a judge here at the Backyard Barbecue Contest and we just finished sampling nine different samples. They were all outstanding, so congratulations to all the contestants. The judges had a really hard time with this one. Kenny Anderson, I'm judging this year once again the Backyard Barbecue Cook-Off and as the others said, we've sampled nine different um, entries and we're hoping that uh, the one who get the trophy is the best one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Susie Curry. I'm back here again at the Backyard Barbecue Cook-Off. We just got through sampling nine different varieties of ribs. Um, they all were really good and all had their own distinctive taste, so good luck. I'm Marva Hutzbuth. I'm back again this year to the barbecue 
cook off as a judge. Uh, it's amazing how you can take a rib and have nine different tastes. But it, they were very I good. I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear. Objectively and subjectively. Objectively and subjectively. Evaluating the barbecue meat. Evaluating the barbecue meat. That is presented in my eyes. That is presented in my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. My hands and my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty to be. I accept my duty to be. The fourth annual Mid-South Barbecue Festival judge. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to get six in there. Yeah, it is. Can you shank? Yeah, there you go. Welcome to the Mid-South, Mount Pleasant Mid-South Barbecue Festival. Uh, we're judging chicken. The first entry was, it missed the mark. In my opinion, it was slightly dry. The uh, barbecue sauce had a very pleasant, tangy flavor to it, which I really enjoyed. Had a little heat to it, so they were spot on with the sauce. But they cooked the meat a little dry. The second entry was my favorite. It was, I thought, excellent entry. It was juicy, it was tender. The sauce had a great taste with a little sweet and a little heat. I really enjoyed it. Third entry was not moist enough for me, uh, so it was slightly dry also. The barbecue sauce had a slightly fruity flavor to it that I did not like. The fourth entry uh, was the least favorite of mine. It was dry. Uh, it was cooked somehow and filleted in two pieces and it fell apart when I picked it up. The center had a strong herb flavor and uh, I wasn't a fan of it and it, I think by cooking it so thin it ruined the texture of it. So it was my least favorite entry. Uh, my favorite entry was the first entry. It was um just barely overcooked but other than that um, the taste was spot on to me and um, had great flavor and uh, least favorite entry was number four it was um, a little uh, slightly bitter and uh, that was in some of the sauce and then the herbiness that was in there was pretty pronounced so that was my least favorite but they all got pretty good scores I thought they were all pretty good. Uh, my favorite was the first one. I thought it was very tender and tasty. The fourth one was my least favorite. I thought the sauce was overpowering. So my favorite uh, is the third. I thought it had a good spice combination. It wasn't too sweet. Uh, it had a good bite. wasn't overdone or underdone. Uh, my least favorite was actually number one. It was too sweet and it was too fatty. My pizza had a lot of fat in it and I didn't enjoy it at all. Well, we definitely had a uh, good um, combination of meat here. It was uh, a lot of s sweetness in the sauce for a lot of them. Uh, my favorite was number one because it did have a good balance of sweet and pepper and I do like a little bit of spice so that's really good. And um, my um, least favorite had to be number four because of it had an odd herb taste um, but um, I mean all in all it was really it was a really good um, plate today but uh, yeah number one was definitely my best. Yeah, they were they were all good. Uh, 
to a point, and all of them had good bite through skin. Um, number two had to be be my favorite. Uh, I like seeing a leg now in a, in the competitions too, but it was juicy, uh, just all around the, the flavor, the, the spice, and the sweet was just right. Uh, my least favorite again it was number four. It was just way too saucy, herby, uh, just kind of on the tough side. Cooked a little bit too long, but all in all, they were. Uh, it was a good entry. My favorite was number two. It was pretty good all the way around. Number three was come in second. It was a little on the tough side, but it was pretty good. Number three was number one. And it just, my taste, it's just a little too sweet for me. And then number four was a little overcooked. In this category of uh, ribs, I'm going to just start with the number one entry over here. Uh, in the box, they had the same color and size. It was a very well-formed box. It looked good. The flavor of, of this was excellent. I thought it was good. Uh, it was a little overcooked and mushy was one of, the, one of the things I had wrong with it. In the second one you see on the plate, uh, it was a massive box. Uh, it did have uniform cut to it. Color was good on it for the size of the box that was in there. It was just a little undercooked in my opinion. Uh, it did have an excellent pork taste, which was probably one of the best ones on the table. Number three, uh, it was a darker colored rib. It In the box, it was very uh, different sizes. It wasn't uniform. It had a sweet and a sour taste to it, and it was also a little overcooked. In my opinion, uh, number four, it had good color and size in the box. It was all cut pretty much the same size. It had an excellent taste, and the texture on number four to me was excellent. Number one, I thought, had a really good taste, but it, mine was very, very overcooked and mushy. Number two was my favorite. Had a good tug to it. Had a real good flavor. Number three and four, uh, to me, both had good taste. Both of them were slightly overcooked. For me, overall, they all had a good look to them. They all looked um, presentable, well presented, delicious. For me, number one, I liked the seasoning in it. And to me, it was right close to the point of tenderness that everyone looks for. For number two, I liked the flavor, but it was a little bit chewy. At least my piece was a little bit chewy. For number three, it was a little bit mushy. The flavor was good, but the texture was a little bit mushy. And number four, was the, the flavor was still pretty good, but then the, ten, the tenderness was still, I think it was a little bit overcooked. I personally thought all four boxes looked very presentable. Uh, in fact, I gave them the high score on all four. They all looked savory and wanted to be something that you'd like to eat. Uh, number one, uh, I personally thought it had good flavor, but it was really a lot of sauce. and You really couldn't uh, taste the meat that much, but it was really saucy. Uh, number two was a clean pull from uh, uh, in your bite, and it, I thought it was, it was um, very good uh, overall. Uh, number three um, had good flavor. All of them had good flavor, but number three had good flavor, but the uh, meat fell off the bones and it was also too saucy. Number four was really good. The color was great. Uniformity uh, was good in the box. Uh, it did um, uh, had good flavor. It had a, had a little, bit, little bit too much sauce uh, for me, but uh, the color was great and it was overcooked just a little. <clears throat> Number one, uh, I did not enjoy because I thought it had a little bit too much sauce. And that's basically what I could taste. I really couldn't get a meat flavor from it. Two and three were both very good. However, I preferred number three. 
because it had a little bit of a tug when I bit into it to pull it off the bone that we'd like to have and also it had a meaty flavor to it. Number four I didn't enjoy because it had an aftertaste and it was uh, the type of rib that I just didn't want to take another bite out of because of the after. I don't know if we'll brush it with any sauce, what do you think? No, I don't think so. Entry number one was uh, a box just with slices in it. I thought the slice was uh, overcooked and mushy, it, although the flavor was good. Number two, um, I had a very hard time with the slice. I, I couldn't even bite through it. There was a lot of gristle inside of it. Um, so consequently, it got a very low score on tenderness and taste wasn't much better. Number three, um, I chopped in uh, some pulled. Uh, it was cooked okay. Um, the sauce uh, just gave it a, a better flavor than the other ones. Number four, um, two very small pieces of a slice and a, a cube. Um, cooked well, uh, good tenderness, although I think, and it had almost like a maple syrup taste to it for the sweetness. Number one, really dark and overcooked. Uh, push it against the top of your mouth, it was just mush. Uh, number two, uh, the main problem I had other than the gristle and the uh, slice was in the burnt end. So a perfect example here why you don't add something to the box unless it helps. Burnt end was just, um, it was close to being unedible in my estimation. Uh, number three, uh, again we had a piece of burnt end that was, I thought, a little too burnt. Um, uh, nothing real special about this. The sauce helped it. And uh, number four was my personal favorite. Um, as is evidenced by the fact that both small pieces are gone. Now what's gone? <laughs> uh, number one was uh, too chewy for me. It was had a good taste, but a little bit too chewy. Number two needed to be cooked a little longer. It, it, it had an excellent flavor, but had uh, uh, needed to be cooked a little longer. Number three, too much smoke. They, they had too much smoke on it. It's a little dry. Number four, they put too much maple syrup on it. Tasted more like maple syrup than anything, and it wasn't cooked enough either. On uh, number one, uh, uh, the taste was, was pretty good, but it, it was a little bit dry, seemed like to me on it. Uh, number two, uh, the medallion was uh, awfully dry on, on the medallion. Uh, the, the pull part was, uh, tastes pretty good, but uh, I thought the medallion was kind of dry. Uh, the number three uh, was uh, kind of, uh, was moist, was Pretty good overall, but uh, it had a, the sauce was just too much sauce on there. And then the uh, last one, the number four, uh, I thought I was eating uh, breakfast with all the maple syrup on it. I think number one was, uh, in my opinion, good all the way around. Maybe just the slightest bit, just the slightest bit fatty. Other than that, no problems. Number two. I thought was slightly tough and dry on the money meat. Everything else was fine. Number three, everything was fine except it was just a little salty. Not too bad, but a little. And number four, a little too sweet, but I enjoyed it. And none of these were bad barbecue in my opinion. Yeah, I was frankly disappointed in, 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 in all of them in terms of tenderness. Tough, dry, undone, um, and flavor-wise, <laughs> I, I kind of like the, the maple sweetness in, uh, in, in number four, and so yeah, if I had to pick a favorite, that was my favorite.
little bit of fat right here. That's it right here. Right there? Yeah, there. Number one was the uh, worst. It was very tough, uh, difficult to pull apart. Uh, felt like you had to put a foot on one end and pull with the other, pull with your hands. Um, taste was not uh, good at all. Uh, number three was the best. It was, um, it, all the others were good, except number three had a better taste, uh, and there were, the other f uh, four were equally tender. Uh, number five came into a close second but uh, number three just had a little better taste. Uh, number one, uh, the appearance was uh, really bad when it came around. It was uh, greasy looking. It was not um, uh, evenly cut. Um, and then, uh, and it was just really the worst brisket category I've ever judged. Uh, it was not done. You could not pull it apart. Um, we, I could not even taste it because I couldn't get enough off of it to even uh, be able to chew it, so it, I declared it inedible. Um, it was cold also. Uh, number two had a good flavor. Uh, number three, uh, it was not trimmed, but it had great flavor. Uh, number four was only burnt ends uh, that were turned in, which is legal, that's fine, but uh, it was too, uh, too much sugar in, uh, in the sauces that they used, and, and you really couldn't taste the meat. And number five really had no flavor to me. For me, number one was too tough. I would say it had average flavor, but you really couldn't eat it. Number two... It had a nice flavor to it. It was a little bit chewy. Number three had a great flavor and just the right amount of tenderness. Number four also had a good flavor. It was pretty good tenderness, but I would suggest that the pieces be just a little bit bigger. And number five, the tenderness was good, but the flavor was just a little bit bland. Overall, they were all relatively good. Number one, I couldn't tear. I finally bit some off and couldn't chew it. Number two was probably my favorite. Uh, had a good beef flavor and a good texture. Number three, the flavor to me was a little bit off, but it was a little bit dry. Number four, the burning, I thought they were very good. And number five, just average. Number one, when you looked at it in the box, it had an oily coating on it. Uh, when you took it out and, and put it on the table and you tried to eat it, it was a, a very tough, very chewy uh, cut of meat. Uh, highly undesirable. Number two was moist it, in the box. It looked moist. It was even cut. It was very nicely presented when you took it out. It had an excellent flavor and excellent texture to it. It was my uh, top choice in this uh, category. Number three was a thick cut, even sliced in the box. It did have chunks with it. Uh, it was slightly overcooked, and uh, they could have left the chunks out and got probably got a little bit higher score on taste. Uh, number four was uh, chunks. They were all uniformly cut, but when you got them out, they were over. Mine was very overcooked, and it did give it kind of a harsh taste to it. Uh, number five looked moist in the box. They had even cuts. Uh, it was very well presented, uh, but the uh, cut itself or the meat itself was dry, and it had unusual taste to it. Uh, the texture on it was okay, and that was this is mine for the, this category. Uh, not much comment on number one. Number two was my favorite. Had a good taste and was cooked very well. Number three was all right. The burn ends didn't really uh, didn't really help me a whole lot on it. Number four, the burn ends, they're just uh, a little overcooked, not a whole lot to them. Number five was was 
had a good taste and was uh, a nice looking presentation, just a little bit dry.